everybody, my name's Jay Leno, and I like to work on old cars, like this one here. This is a 1934 Fraser Nash, very rare English racing car from the period. It has a Blackburn engine in it, of which they only made 28, and only a few survive. And when I got it, it was virtually useless because the crankcase, as you can see here, uh, was all cracked, it had been welded up, had porosity problems. You put oil in it, it would literally just flow right out in a few miles. So consequently, the car was undrivable and there weren't any new crankcases. But thanks to Faro and the Faro arm, we were able to scan this and make an exact copy that is on the car right now, and it's like a brand new crankcase. It's as good as anything the factory ever made. In fact, even better, because using the Faro arm, we can we can show how to apply more metal in areas that might be stressed or places where this was cracked. So it's pretty cool. Now, for those of you not familiar with what a ferro arm is and what it does, uh, we have two gentlemen here to help us out. First, let's bring in Andrew McEwen. Andrew, you're the account manager for Ferro. Yes, sir. Great to see you, Jake. Thank you, thank you. I, we've used this now for five or six years. It is unbelievable. Explain, for those that don't know, how it scans the part and makes the part. Yeah, great question. So what we have here is a, a ferro arm. It's a portable CMM, and there, we have encoders throughout the arm that track a 3D position of where this point is in space. And beyond that, we can actually turn this into what's called a scan arm by switching out the pistol grip with a laser line probe. So now we have a hybrid system. It's both ta tactile and non-contact uh, 3D scanner. And what we would do is go up to the part and we can go ahead and measure points in space tactically, or if we want a uh, higher density of detail, we can go ahead and scan the part as well. And then from there, we'll bring it into our software and we'll be able to remodel this uh, in 3D. Yeah. So you scan my old part and we're able to make a pattern and make a brand new one. That's right. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty cool. Well, let's go to Jim. Jim's our fabricator. He's been working with that one for the last, oh, four or five years. Uh, how does it feel? Tell us. Uh, it, it, it's a huge improvement. Um, I, I love our existing arm, but this is so much lighter. It's so much easier to, to maneuver around if you're scanning something or you're probing something. Um, I, I love the features that you can hot swap the batteries. You know, I'm excited by this. It's really cool to be able to see the newest thing, newest piece produced by Ferro. So now when I say I need something by Tuesday, that'd be no problem. Yeah, no problem at all, Jay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Look at that. It's pretty cool. It's pretty amazing. You know, I love that, that Ferro has worked so hard. Our original quantum arm it is fabulous, but all the thought going into the ergonomics and, and, and how it's used, how it goes together, how you, you function with the arm and is the impressive. The coolest thing is, it's wireless. You can take it anywhere. The batteries, you can just swap them out while you're using it. I mean, that's, uh, that's really the, the really clever, the clever thing, because you know, a lot of equipment, you're halfway through it and the battery, you know, the whole thing. Yeah, it's like when you're shooting something and yeah, all of yeah. a sudden the yeah, operator yeah. goes, uh, sorry, we have to cut here. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> you don't have to cut here. You just keep, it. it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, really something. Yes, be between the ruggedness, the wireless, and the ergonomics, this arm can measure anywhere. We, we, we're in, in pristine laboratories and, and dirty shops, right. but this arm is meant to be portable, meant to go wherever you want to measure, under a car, you know, in, in terrible environments. So we've had a lot of success for the last 37 years with these arms. Yeah, it's, 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 pretty, it's come a long way. I and mean, your, your customers are everywhere. Our customers. In all environments. All environments. We, we have mom and pop machine shops all the way to NASA and Boeing and General Motors and Ford, all of those, the whole gamut. Now, does this meet the most rigorous standards for accuracy uh, as far as this kind of equipment goes? Yes. The international testing standard, ISO 10360, is the most rigorous standard for portable arms. This is the first arm to adopt that standard and meets it. Pretty amazing. And this is the first one. 
in the world. Oh, this is the very first one? We, we couldn't think of a better place to debut and deliver the first arm. It's, it's very exciting. It's, it's, we got a lot of broken stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like on this oil pan here, if you measure the contour of the outside of the actual block to define where it's gonna meet up, you, won't, you will not feel any type of lip. It will meet up perfectly if yeah. you use a machine to mach machine the And this is a complicated piece to make, as you can see. It's, uh, well, there's stud holes. Journals, yeah, everything. Uh, and that's where the hybrid uh, system comes into play because we can scan, and you know, all scanners are based off line of sight, but if there's any type of undercuts, that's the beauty of having the probe. That way you'll be able to probe outside the line. Well, and, and when we did this, I mean, it, it was a combination of those things. The, the laser scan gave us the basic shape, but then the probe allowed me to pick up exactly where all those bolt holes were, all those stud holes, and, and then you could go back in and I'd create a mechanical drawing and you go to the mill and you mill the part yeah. as well as the casting. Thanks so. to Farrow, I can now go into the Frasian Ash crankcase manufacturing business uh, and I could make 28. I could do as many as they had, and I would get rich. Yeah. Yeah. That's the fun part, the uniqueness of it. Because any place you go to, no one's going to, this would cost you $10,000 to make with a pattern with wood and blah, blah, blah. And we can do it for, well, a couple of bucks, not bad at all. Pretty cool. I might go into the crankcase manufacturing business. So from a ruggedness, we've added additional testing to this arm. So we've added vibration testing, shock testing, thermal testing, heat and cold to this arm. We've taken it one step further where we've done all that rigorous testing right down to the component level. And then the minor assemblies and then the full assembly of this arm. Uh, as far as the ergonomics, I think feeling the arm is tells the story better than I can. Well, and your your customers, part of that ruggedness, they can be operating anywhere. Yes, this is battery operated, right? It's it's battery operated. Uh, it's got two two batteries in it now, and they're hot swappable. So if if you're on a job and you're measuring. You can swap out this battery on the fly and never skip a beat. So if I, let's say I'm halfway through a scan and I get a warning light or something, the battery is dying, I'm not going to lose my information. I can just swap the battery. Yes. Yeah. Oh. You can just pop the battery right out the back. Oh, cool. And then keep on measuring. Right, right. Yeah, we're completely cordless. Um, so don't forget, we can cover over Wi-Fi, right? So no more wires, true portability. All these things are a big help. In addition, the arm has been engineered for a zero warm-up time. So as soon as you hit the go button on the arm, you can measure to the specifications of the arm. Uh, now, Jeff, this is Jeff uh, Squibb. He's the uh, director of uh, sales, right? Director of sales, sales, yes. Explain what's new, because we've been using this one for years. This is the, the old one we've had, and I, it seemed perfect, like anything else, until the newest one comes along, and you go, oh, okay. Uh, I'm told this one's a lot lighter. This is already pretty light, but this one's that, that much lighter than this? Yes, yes, it's a lot lighter. L less, we've, we've reduced the fatigue for the operator. Okay. And I'm the operator, and I'll guarantee you that when I was doing a really long scan, uh, yeah, I need massage therapy at the end of the day because you're holding the scanner out, especially with the laser scanner. Jim is our chief fabricator here at the shop. He's the one that actually did the scanning and made the parts for any number of these cars here. Because, you know, these days there are no junkyards. You're not going to find parts lying around anymore. You literally have to make everything now. And it's really the golden age of automobile restoration. You can restore cars that were thought to be junk or, or useless because you couldn't get parts. We've made water pumps, we've made uh, uh, connecting rods for steam engines, we've made a lot of parts using this and it's literally 
saved a lot of vehicles from the scrap heap. It's pretty exciting. One thing I don't want to forget about is the quick change probes. So we've got a kinematic probe here that will, you, can, you can replace it with a new probe, lock this down, and the arm recognizes which probe this is. Okay. So there's no, no need for calibration of this, of this probe, just lock in a new one and keep on measuring. So you're just, you've been making this uh, easier and easier for the, the user to Absolutely. have in the field. Absolutely. And then the, the last core area that we've focused on was accuracy. We are a metrology company. Accuracy is important to us. So accuracy depends on the length of your arm. We've added additional arm offering to the Quantum S arm. Right. We've got, we have a one and a half meter volume, two and a half, three and a half, and now we've introduced the longest ferro arm of four meter volume. And we've increased so that's a four meter reach on the arm, so. Four meter total volume. So I believe that's roughly 13, a little over 13 foot. You can measure a chassis of a vehicle. Yeah, yeah, that's with, amazing. With a 14 foot arm. It, it, it's amazing. I mean, it's so exciting when you have vehicles like I have, which are literally from the turn of the century. And they're just, you know, we have a 1914 car called the Premier. The guy that bought it in the 70s thought he could find a water pump for it. He never found one. He never got it running. We took the original um, water pump, which was, it was there, but it had holes in it, and it was all, you know, it was a porosity pump, scanned it, and made a new one, and now it's a, a running, driving vehicle. I mean, you can save anything. There's, there's no part that you can't make. Well, in lots of these cars, we have no blueprints for them. Right. I mean, uh, making things for the Rolls-Royce over there, uh, Some place the Smithsonian has blueprints, right? But I couldn't get a hold of them, right? Right. So it's like we have to go back and measure everything, so that we can do the engineering we need to do. Even a simple thing like uh, maybe you have a Pontiac Bonneville. You know, a long script says Bonneville. Well, it's missing off your car. It's all broken. Well, now you can scan it, make it out of better metal in the pot metal that it was originally done. Do it in brass. Get a nickel plated or whatever you want. I mean, it's, it's, it's endless. It's really amazing. There's, there's nothing you can't repair. What's new on this scanner? I mean, our old scanner uh, was a, a, what, red laser? And didn't you say this one's, what, the blue light laser? Yes. This is our new ferro blue laser scanner. What's different about this one is that it's 300 frames per second. It's five times faster than any previous model scanner that we've had. And different from the red laser is that this will scan very shiny, high polished parts like chrome, uh, as well as very deep, dark black parts. So parts like this gas cap here, we can scan it without the spray. I th I th you've probably used the spray before and made a mess in some of these cars. I'd have to paint parts uh, because they mostly like the nice white surface, dull white surface to get high resolution. And so with your new uh, blue light laser, you don't have to go through any of those steps. Yep, we reduce the prep work of any type of spray. And unlike other technologies, we don't have any targets. So we're literally going right up to the vehicle, turning it on, we'll start scanning. We can switch to probing. With, and not to mention, we also have an HDR mode. So if you've got high contrast colors like black and, and, a, and a shiny paint, um, white and black, we'll be able to get that in a single pass instead of taking two individual passes, right? Okay, so what if you're an adult like me and you're not really the most computer literate guy and you have a question? I mean, do you, how, how is your support team? Are you guys there? Can we call you anytime? Yeah, we're actually best known for our support. That's a, that's a huge differentiator and it, it's important to our clients. Uh, going into technology like this, knowing that you know, it's not gonna become a paperweight, that they're gonna be able to be successful. So we've got multiple resources. Uh, someone like myself, an account manager, would be you know, first place. We also have a, a whole team dedicated to support. We've got an online presence, a portable. Obviously, we've got email. So um, yeah, our support is, is there for you. We, 
our intent is that if someone adopts into this type of technology, that it's a, it's a, it's a partnership. We want you to be successful because if you're successful and you've had a system like this for 10 years, you're going to come back to us and, and we're, you know, we're going to continue that partnership and uh, upgrade to the newest star. Exactly. And you can't even use it as a paperweight because it's so light now. <laughs> See, the old one you could use as a paperweight. Now the new one, they can't even use it as a paperweight because look at that. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty, yeah, I think that's the scariest thing for most people. They get lost in the tech, you know, especially if you're used to doing it the old way. So the fact that they can call you at any time and we don't get your call is very important to us, you know. Uh, if it, you actually talk to a human being, you know, it's helped us tremendously because the new, the first days of new technology are always trickier than the last days of old technology because you're just used to doing it a certain way. So the fact that we can call you at any time and get you on the phone to walk us through it uh, and we'll have simple questions and embarrassing questions, but there are none really. And, and you guys can and help us. And that's what they've done for us because when we started making parts, it, it didn't, we had a lot of questions and we could get them on the phone at any time. And that's, uh, that's probably the single most important thing, I think.